Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into an application called Blitzset, which is a to-do list application. It is currently in beta. There is, I or at least I wasn't able to find a mobile application, so I don't think it is one yet. Maybe there is one in a test flight, but I jumped around the um, I jumped around the like website and I wasn't able to find a mobile application, so uh, it might just be a little hard to find since it is still in beta, but uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, if I'm able to find it, I will comment down below or put it in the description, so check that out. But as of right now, I haven't been able to find it, but this application heavily relies on the idea of flow state, and I am currently looking for a new like to-do list application, um, mainly because um, I have a daily planner, but it does not have any like good uh, to-do list functionality. So my plan is to like block out some time for uh, a specific thing, for example, for my uh, personal business, and then uh, go into my task list, which uh, will be um, the new to-do list application, and then uh, go through those tasks. That is what I'm planning to do. But uh, I wanted to check out a couple of to-do list applications, uh, so you will see uh, a few videos going forward around uh, to-do list applications, but Blitzit relies heavily on flow state, which is an idea I really like. So if we press the settings right here, you can see that it has a few things. So it has a, a panel, it has... Uh, I can choose which side I want to put the panel on. I can have Pomodoros. I, I'm not the biggest fan of Pomodoros, but I could click this and like have work sprints and break time. Uh, and I could have a default break uh, length. So things like that I can actually customize. Uh, I can have alerts, notification alerts, and I can also celebrate task completion and I can change the sound of this. So there are a few to choose from, four, five to choose from. Uh, the way the application works, so this is a first impressions video, which means that I haven't tested it out a lot before making this video, but it seems like I can create a list. So let's say I wanted a list for my uh, personal social media. I could call it the name of my business. Can I pick the exact color? I can. I can't put any hex codes in here and I can't uh, put any like uh, RGB uh, codes in here either. So I can't fine tune this exactly, but I will just pick a color. I can actually upload an icon as well uh, in JPEG, PNG or SVG. Uh, so I could actually add an icon in here, but let's just go ahead and create that. So I can open this up and I really like this uh, view, so let's actually start off with adding a couple of tasks. So I want to film a video, and I really like the fact that it has um, this time estimate, which I can change from here. Uh, what other things can I do? I can add subtasks in here. I can uh, write a little bit in here. Let's go ahead and close these. Uh, and I can also press this. What does it do? It moves it to the next like board. So this is more of a Kanban view. Can I drag these? I can. Uh, so that is also a really... Uh, I think it is a really good UI. I think the user interface and the user experience of this is really good, at least so far. Uh, let's add a couple of tasks to today. So let's say I wanted to film this video. So film blitz it video. I spelled it wrong, but that's okay. Let's do an estimated time. Let's say this take. It usually takes me around 25 minutes to film the video. Um, And I could add that. Let's say I wanted to... 25 hours isn't uh, completely right. Let's do like this. So 25 minutes. Uh, and this actually shows me the time it has taken. So uh, that is also a really cool uh, feature. So I can set the estimated time and I can set the time taken. This is great if you're like me and you struggle a lot with uh, actually knowing how long a task ta uh, takes. I think uh, humans in general struggle a little bit with this uh, to estimate how long something is going to take. Uh, so this is great because then you will actually have seen how long different things take. But one thing I wanted to test out is to test out the Blitz it now. So let's try out, uh, that out. 
so it actually starts this uh, on my left sidebar. So I'll just uh, change the settings of this and I will put this onto my second screen so you can actually see this. Um, let me just move this back uh, because what happens when I press the blitz it button is that it uh, actually adds, uh, it creates this like sidebar thing uh, and I can uh, see how long it is, how long left on the task and I can actually add things from right here. I can take a break, I can add notes, I can pause this, I can skip it. Uh, what happens if I press the focus mode? It removes all of that. Uh, I can go back into full screen. So this might be a little distracting. In my case, when I have two screens, I think it would be okay. Uh, and also if they had like a mobile application where I could have the mobile on the side, for example, with my headset on and this would just go on in my mobile and I could uh, use my iPhone to add notes or take breaks or things like that, I would think that that is much better. Let's just check off this task. Uh, and it gives me a little celebration, which I really like. Um, it also shows me how long this task has taken and I can then choose to take a break or go to the next task. Let's actually go back home. Um, and um, I can now see that this task is moved to done. And here I can see how long it has actually taken, which is great for the next time I'm planning out my tasks. So uh, that covers uh, the features right here uh, and I really like the focus mode idea inside of this application. I think that is a really good idea and I can also create different lists here. I also have a report so I can press reports and I can say uh, see how many total work days, total tasks done, total hours worked, average time per task. So it actually gives me a few uh, good options here which I can um, which I can take a look at and I can also change these. So last 90 days, last 60 days, last 30 days, this week, yesterday and today. So I have a bunch of options here. Uh, if I press this, you can see that you can connect a few applications. So Notion and Google Calendar. I know that a lot of people use these applications. ClickUp is coming, Asana is coming and Trello is coming as well. That covers all of the major ones that I think people use at least for their work. Uh, you uh, can also uh, go back home again and add like more different uh, lists. So I could add one for each area of my life and I could go on and do those things. When it comes to the pricing of this, that is the last thing we are going to take a look at. This has a monthly plan, which is $4.99 per month, which I think is reasonable for an application like this. My guess is that once it comes out of beta, this will be extremely uh, more uh, uh, expensive. I'm thinking like double the price, $8, um, but that is just a guess. That is just a personal thought based on how the... Um, how the uh, overall market looks in uh, to-do list and focus applications. Uh, you also have a pay once lifetime deal. I don't think this is too bad either. So $77.97 I would think is a little bit of an investment for an application you're not sure is going to be around. Uh, but uh, I think 77 is an okay price. But as you can see it has a few it has quite a few cool uh, features that I really like. It is more of a like focus application than just a to-do list application. But as you can see, it has a few uh, really cool uh, features that you can try out. I think it is worth giving this a shot. I still wish for like a mobile application. Uh, that would be one of the most important things because uh, right now, if I'm on the go and I have an idea for a task, there isn't an easy way for me to add tasks. Here you can see that it is. it looks like it is just available on Windows and on uh, Mac. Uh, but um, I would love for this to have a mobile application so I can actually capture tasks on the go. That is one of the reasons why this is a little hard to recommend. But overall, I think the idea of the application is really good. And I really like the UI uh, UX of it as well. I think 
they've done a great job with that. Uh, I'm currently on a free trial. I will uh, try out a couple more applications and once I've tried out a few I will get back to you on whether or not I picked this as my to-do list application. That covers it for today's video. If you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so so much for watching.